Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nor Izati Binti Rambi. Now, I will continue to explain about subtopic 2.1.1 which is impact of science and technology on environment. Firstly, I will talk about positive impact of science and technology on environment. The impact of science and technology can be divided into three main areas which are agriculture, industry, and services. Mechanization, transportation, increase of yield and scope as energy are the positive impact in agriculture area. And then, for the industry area, automation and the use of new and abandoned raw materials is a positive impact in this area. Lastly, the last area which is services, this area also have a positive impact on environment in growing categories in health virtual reality media, and recreational media. Next, in the agriculture area, it have mechanization, transportation, increase of yield, and crop as energy. For mechanization, one of the first innovation that had a great impact on the sector was the introduction of machines on the farm. Before this innovation, tasks on the farm were performed solely using hands. Mechanization was a major change that helped the agriculture sector. Next, transportation. Transportation was a major challenge for farmers. Transporting the farm produce was quite expensive. And because of the distance to market, most of the produce often spoils before it reached the consumer, thereby resulting in a great loss for the farmer. The invention of railroads play a pivotal role to help resolve this challenge. With the expansion of railroad system, farm produce could now be transported much faster and at a lesser cost. The invention of refrigerated rail car also revolutionized the industry by allowing farmers to quickly deliver perishable products like meats using refrigerated vehicles. The technological advancement in transportation helped to reduce the cost of delivery, open new markets and ultimately improve productivity and increase efficiency in agriculture sector. Increase of yield is the third positive impact in this agriculture area. For a long time, farmers depend on agriculture chemicals like herbicides and pesticides to control weeds reduce pest damage, and increase yield. All these were discovered through scientific research. Also, scientists underwent some experiments and have developed new biotechnological innovation which can be used to create genetically modified organism, which is GMO. Lastly, using crop as energy also have a positive impact in this area. Farmers had always produced crop as food and fiber. But in a recent times, scientists discovered that some crops can be used as a source of energy. For an example, soybean-based biodiesel and corn-based ethanol were developed as a renewable alternative to petroleum-based energy. Now, I will proceed to the next area which is industry area. Automation reduce carbon emissions. The rising number of automated equipment has significant impact on climate change. Heavy duty manual operated machinery emit more carbon dioxide to the environment compared to the electric electronic ones. Automated machines help to reduce carbon emission by half and allowing the air clear up. For example, Robot also pick up river trash. Pollution comes in all kinds, from chemical to the plastic bags. One company in Chicago has developed a trash robot that can float on water collecting a garbage to create the river clean. Robot also helps to safeguard the animals from ingesting waste. Next, Tesla Moto leads the fight against climate change. Tesla Moto is a leading automaker 
who understand the effect of a climate change and how environmental protection can make our world better place. Besides that, Tesla Moto also helping the world attain sustainable energy level. Okay, this slide shows the second positive impact for the industry area, which is the use of new and abundant raw materials. The number of new raw materials and substances introduced over the last 50 years is large. Plastics, composite materials, pesticides, drugs and vaccines, and nuclear isotopes are just a few of the major ones. The properties, function, and services these new products provide are spectacular. Penicillins and other antibiotics have almost wiped out a large number of infectious diseases and significantly increased life expectancy. Plastic containers and packaging have improved hygiene and food preservation. New materials such as alloys and ceramics have found many diverse applications. Today, industrialization is at the core of the global change. Because of the success of industrialization, Artificial transformation of matter and energy has assumed global dimension. Industry mobilized about 20 billion tons of material annually in the form of fossil fuel, minerals, and renewable raw materials. The extraction, conversion, and disposal of these quantities produce 40 billion tons of solid waste per year. In comparison, Total materials transport by the natural river runoff is about 10 to 25 billion tons a year. Last but not least, services also give positive impact on the environment. An emerging and important technological sector which is likely to dominate human behavior and environmental impacts of technology in the near future is the services and information industry. Its constraints are no longer dependent only on the natural and economic resources and technological limitations, but also on human activities. In industrialized countries, the service sector typically account for about two-thirds of economic output and employment. Studies in the United States indicate that growing categories in the service sector will be largely in health Virtual reality media, which is telephone, audio, video, and computer, and recreational services, approaching about 40% of personal incomes. Previously, services were regarded as low tech activities, but they are now large consumers of new technologies, particularly information and communication technologies. Okay. I already done explain about the positive impact on environment. Now, let's move to the negative impact on environment. Negative impact of science and technology on environment is depletion of resources and ecological system imbalance and disruption. Furthermore, technology contributes toward depletion of resources. Development and usage of technology is contributing to increase industrial activity that requires raw material from natural resources such as coal, timber, and wild animals. As well, extensive agriculture activities and farming activities such as burning of bushes, deforestation, and usage of chemicals to enhance soil fertility is an environmental exploitive. As well, Extensive mining of gold, diamond, and other minerals is an activity that is contributing towards depletion of resources at an alarming rate. Next, over-exploitation of fossil fuel and other resources ceases to be beneficial and becomes an environmental threat. In addition, ecological system imbalance and disruption result from technological advancement in the modern world. Collapse of ecological life and extinction of organisms from their natural habitats is a direct probable result of technology. 
wildlife extension from the natural habitat to create more space for farming activities and home for increasing population is an evidence on how technology causes ecological imbalance. Availability of improvement technology causes people to devise convenient ways of satisfying their basic needs and increase productivity requirement. Human embark of activities such as deforestation, extensive farming activities, environmental pollution which lead to changes in the natural life cycle that maintain ecosystem. So, ecosystem can rebound from these negative effects, continue of environmental degradation through destructive human activities affected by technology will eventually lead to collapse.